Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, March the 21st. We've got uh, an interesting topic today. We're going to talk about our African origins. I want to introduce you, first of all, to Carol Ward, who is Professor of Anatomy at the University. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Thanks. I'm not quite sure how our African origin fits in with the Professor of Anatomy, but we'll find out. Absolutely. Uh, and then we have Nadashi Owase. Did yes. I pronounce it right? Nadaj Uwase. Nadaj Uwase. Yes. Okay. Formidable trial. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Good to have you here. And you were the director of MU African Hub. Yes. So now, what, what is the MU African Hub? So we are a new project here at the University of Missouri. Uh, we're housed in the Division of Applied Social Sciences in Kaffner. So this is our first year, so lots and lots of things happening and going on. Yeah. But one of the things we do is approach Africanists. So these are individuals on campus, staff, faculty, and students doing anything in regards to Africa. And, you know, just knock on the door and say, we'd love to partner with you. We'd love to figure out how to help you, which is how we birthed this, our African origin symposium mm -hmm. uh, idea as well. So tell me about the African origin symposium. Yes. Well, we knocked heads and I said, you know, I'd love to figure out. You knocked heads? Yes. Pretty much. Yes. Partisan sure. crime in a way. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we thought, you know, um, we love what you're researching, what you're doing, and we'd like to figure out how to bring it to campus. And so since we talk about how uh, we're all Africans, because this is where our origins start, we thought it would be an apropos name, our African origins mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Ward does a lot of work in Kenya uh, as well and was fantastic for me to be able to approach her and say, we'd love for the hub to get behind what you're doing and help you promote your project. Okay, tell me about your part of that. Absolutely. Well, I study human evolution, the fossil record of our ancestors and our origins. And so what we wanted to do is bring together some of the top named scientists in the world who are out there finding the fossil evidence of our ancestry to Columbia to talk about what we know, what the fossil record yields, and what we understand about where we come from, why we are the way we are, why we look the way we look why we act the way we act, all from the evidence of the fossil record. So what are you finding out? What are you well, learning? Well, we know that we are all Africans, like Nadej said. Human yeah. origins begins in Africa. There are fossils all over the world of many different kinds of animals. The only place we find our ancestors for about the first two million years of our, four million years of our evolutionary history is in Africa. So we know we all one people, we all trace our ancestry back to one part of the world. And what we can see is that the things that make us distinctively human don't arrive all at once in our evolutionary past. They appear piecemeal over time, and it's the fossil evidence that tells us that. And so that's what we'll be able to share with the Columbia community when the symposium happens. Mm -hmm. The symposium is when? The symposium begins on Monday, March 21st, and we're particularly excited because Dr. Meeve Leakey oh, will yes. be giving a keynote address at the Missouri Theater. For anybody who knows anything about human evolution, the Leakey family has been working since the 50s to make one of the most significant fossil discoveries of human evolutionary history. And Dr. Leakey will be speaking. It's free and open to the public, very accessible for anybody of any age to come here. And then following Meeve's talk on Tuesday the 21st, or 22nd, We'll have a day-long symposium and Monsanto Auditorium on campus at MU with some of the leading names of people out there leading teams to find fossils and trace everything from the origins of our branch of the family tree all the way up to the earliest modern human behavior. And this is all free of charge, right? Absolutely. And that's why we wanted to do this, because part of it is making it accessible to our community. Uh, so both people at the university, but also within Columbia and our uh, neighbors uh, when they were in town as well. So making it free and accessible allows parents to bring their children and MU students to attend as well as faculty too. And part of it too is um, 
meeting these scientists, you know. So I'm super excited about mm-hmm. Zare because he was with President Obama in Ethiopia and he got to show him Lucy. You no, know, so this is the caliber of scientists we're going to have on our campus mm-hmm. to show our students who are both studying in the discipline and those just are curious about it that we have the best and brightest on our campus just for you. How do you yeah. think most people look at this or will look at this when they come out of the symposium? It's eye-opening, right? It is eye-opening. It's amazing how much we know. People think, oh, there's just a few fossils here and there. There are thousands and thousands of fossils of our ancestors. Now, what, when we talk about the missing link, ah, yeah. what, is the, what is the missing link? <laughs> well, every time, if you have a gap, there's a fossil in this time and a fossil more recently, and there's a gap. As soon as you find another fossil, now there's two missing links, right? There's a gap in between. So there's not just one missing link. <laughs> there's not one missing I, link. I always thought there was one <laughs> missing link because you hear people say, well, there's the missing the link. The missing link. There's many missing links. There are many mm-hmm. missing links. We've been evolving for millions of years. Our closest relatives, chimpanzees, have been evolving for millions of years. And there's links all the way up the chains on both sides of the tree. So. Do you find that some people do not accept that uh, our closest relatives are chimpanzees? I think some people don't accept it until they hear the data and they see the evidence. And I think when people see the fossils, when they see the evidence, when they hear it, they will understand what it really tells us. And that's what we're hoping to get across. So how many years has it taken from the first the first man, mm-hmm. the first man or the first woman sure. to evolve to what we are today. So suppose starting with Lucy? (laughs) Even earlier than Lucy. We probably had a common ancestor with chimpanzees maybe six million years ago or seven million years ago. So everything that's happened to make us different from our ape forebears has happened in just seven million years. And the first early parts of that, people were still pretty ape-like creatures. And the more recently we get in time, the more and more of our distinctive features appear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're still pretty ape-like, though. Sometimes we are. (laughs) It's very disappointing. Um, (laughs) But if if people want more information or if they want to come to this seminar, two two days you've got events going on. Monday, the 21st of March, starting what time? At 6 p.m. The theater will open. The talk begins at 7. Okay, six to seven, and then it, will there be time for questions and answers afterwards? Absolutely, absolutely. There'll be well, the talk will be from seven till about eight, and there'll be plenty of time for questions and answers with Dr. Leakey. Okay, the theater opens at six. Yes, mm-hmm. and then the talk is seven exactly. to eight. Exactly. Yep. There you and go. then after uh, the talk is over. There'll be questions and answers. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. The next day, what happens then? So then we have our scientists all talking. We're going to be in Bond Life Science Center uh, uh, in all day in the I'm auditorium sure Jack as Schultz well. will be there, won't he? Oh, of yes, course. He's will. been so generous and, and has supported us and sponsored oh, the event Oh, he's a very intelligent well. man, a nice yes. man. Yes. So yeah. we will have a, a speakers, we'll have lunch, and then more speakers in the afternoon and a break session at the end. Okay. Uh, and well. if people would like to meet the speakers, they can come as early as about 7.30. We'll have some juice and coffee and donuts and things beforehand. Okay. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, they can meet with them then, too. Thank so, you so much. Pleasure absolutely. having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have both of you here. I wish you best of luck with the seminar both days, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Okay, hope everybody comes out. It's going to be great. All right, we're out of time for today. Tomorrow, we've got music by Kathy and Dave. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio Trevor Harris, KBIA. Our floor director, Ariel Sierra. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser.